Hi ladies, I am not sure what's going on with my camera today, but it's just looking odd like it's not getting a big enough picture, but I'm not sure what's going on with it. I've tried to adjust it, but today I have a baby reveal. And this is the baby right here underneath this bear. And this came from um, my really good Dolly friend. Um, she's been a great friend over the years and I trade quite a lot with her. And you will know her as Candy Love Sparkle or Erin. And the baby I'm getting today from her, normally, most of the time, nine times out of ten, the babies I get from her, she has painted them herself. But this one, she did not paint herself. She just had this baby in her collection. So we did another trade, and my baby arrived today. So we're going to take a look. And first, we're going to, she gave me a nice, which I don't have here, but she gave me a nice personalized card for me. And I've already read that, and I'm not going to read it to y'all because it's personal for me. <laughs> but anyway, she was very thoughtful to send a card, and she sent these clothes wrapped in this nice ribbon. So we're going to look at the clothes real quick. And a lot of times we do our trades, we send clothes, and sometimes they're not necessarily for the baby that is in the trade, but we just send them anyway. It's a little pink hat with, I think it is, sheep on it. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. And, and today the um, the lighting may be a little strange because it's actually in sunlight and the sun has decided to go down. And this is a, I think this is preemie, so this would be good for my preemie babies. It's black and white stripe and it says, I love you with a gold heart onesie and a sweet little hat to match. And it's going to be good, good for my preemies because I do have some preemie babies. Oh, look at this. I love this. And this is a small newborn. And it's a Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey theme. It's a Mickey Mouse sleeper. And it's like a blue and um, white stripe. And it's got Mickey Mouse ears all over it. And then it's got an embroidered Mickey right here. You can see that. And that's a really cute sleeper. Thank you, Erin. She always sends the cutest clothes and stuff. And we try to send vintage clothes when we can, but we can't always do that sometimes. Another little Carter's pant. Tiny little thing. For my little babies. Oh my gosh, so she sent a vintage piece. We always try to send each other at least one vintage piece because we both love vintage clothes. And look at this outfit. It is so cute. It looks like it might have been handmade. I'm not sure. And it's vintage. And it's this blue fleece with these ruffles on the chest. And it has a Peter Band collar. And I really love it. We both have pretty much the same taste in clothes. Especially vintage clothes. And here's what it looks like. And if, it might, this might go on a new baby. Because I think it is adorable. And she's supposed to be a newborn. Or he is supposed to be a newborn size. And I think this could be for either boy or girl. It looks like to me. Well, maybe more girls, but some of the old traditional clothes have lace on it, and they can be for boys, too, because I kind of thought of him as a boy, so we'll see. And look, tied to the baby, on the top of the baby, is a Paddington bear, and she did not know that I love Paddington. I never had a Paddington bear, but I've been wanting to get one, and he's a character. I believe he's English. Ladies, if y'all know, is Paddington supposed to be English, an English bear, an English character? Look, he has his little coat with his buttons, special buttons on there, and his hat. A little Paddington bear. I love Paddington. Growing up, I just I always thought he was the cutest. I love Paddington. So there's Paddington bear, and now we're going to get to the baby. She's got beautiful material on here to cover the baby up. Yellow with all different fruits and stuff on it. So we're going to start with the baby's um, legs. And this baby, um, I have a, um, I don't know, I'm trying to see if her CEO is in here. I don't know if she comes to see, he comes to see me. Anyway, um, this is a baby by a, um, I have another baby by her. I think it's Corolla Wedger. Like, I'm sorry if I'm saying, I know I'm not saying that name right, but I've tried. She's a German sculptor, and my IRA elf is sculpted by her. 
So here's the feet. You're not going to be able to tell much by the feet. And I love this sleeper Aaron that this baby's in. It's got a little string from the material on him. Hold on. Woo! Okay, hold on. I got it. It's a little bit of string there. But he's got he's nice, and I'm calling him a he because that's what I think of as. He's so far, at least, let's not change my mind, which I have done that before. It's a white sleeper with embroidered um, giraffe, mama and baby giraffe, or it could be daddy and baby giraffe. And it's got little embroidered places on the feet, on top of the feet. I'll move them up. And here is his hands. And just so you know, his hand is very similar to my Iron Elf. And I love the sculptor's hands. She sculpts hands beautifully. And I'll bring him up closer to the... Um... Here's his other hand. And I see his face. Oh, he's got a diaper on his face. I'm being so careful. And now he has a diaper on. So let's see. Here he is. So far. Don't look. <laughs> Here's his diaper head. I'm going to move that. Here we go. He's about the same size as his brother, which is good. A medium size newborn. A perfect size newborn. <gasps> Look. You probably recognize, maybe recognize the face of the sculpt. And he has a little bit of rooted fuzzy hair there. It's a widow. And his brother doesn't have any. His brother's bald. Oh, look at that face. Isn't that the most beautiful face? He has got beautiful glass blue eyes. And I'm going to do more videos with him because actually natural lighting, I don't know. He's not coming out when I'm looking at it. It doesn't look so great because he's in the sunshine. Or I set it up for him to be in the sunshine and then the sun moved, of course. So there he is. Look at that. And he has a little place. I think he could take a modified passy. Look how cute he is. He's beautiful. So there he is. And I don't think, she, yeah, now I remember she didn't say that he doesn't have a COA. But I could, I'll rem, I remember, I wrote down what he is. I mean, what sculpt he is and stuff. But I'll go back and look. Isn't he beautiful? And he's definitely to me a boy. So he's going to stay a boy. And he's going to go see his brother. And I'll do another video with him that shows more. And let me show you about his hands. This sculptor is beautiful the way she does hands. You see his hands? Look how beautiful his hands are. She sculpted his hands and she also does elves. That's why I told you the other baby, his brother, is our elf. Look, his little fingers are bent. Doesn't she do sculpt hands beautifully? I think she does. And his brother's got beautiful hands too. And a beautiful face. He's got a beautiful face too, Mom, not just beautiful hands. Isn't he gorgeous? He's beautiful. And I'll have to be thinking of a name. I know that I'm going to definitely make him a boy. And I think he's weighted perfect. I love how he's weighted. He's like a little, a little, he's a little monkey monk. He's a little thing. He's a great size newborn, just like a perfect newborn size. And he's got a little fuzzy hair. He's got more hair than his brother because his brother has zero. His brother's bald. He's got a little bit of blonde hair. I just want to show you this fella. And he been, I'm going to snuggle with him today. Yes, he's going to be my snuggle buddy. He is so cute. Thank you so much, Aaron. I am very pleased with him. He is just gorgeous. And look how his head goes back and he's looking up. He's still looking at all my aunties. And I will get his name um, and sculptor's name when I come back with another video. We're going to definitely be doing a video very soon with him. And to one of my, um, I got a lovely comment asking about when I'm going to do the video about Mary and show her an address. I know I've been putting that off. I am going to do it soon. And um, baby Jesus is not made yet. I was planning to make him this year, but I didn't get it made. But Mary, yes, Mary is made. And I will be showing her video and her beautiful dress it was supposed to be for Christmas, but it'll be for New Year's now. <laughs> her beautiful dress that looks much like it's like a christening dress or almost looks like a wedding dress but you know how those christening dresses look like that sometimes so there's my new boy and he's a handsome felly yes i'm a handsome felly i will have to think of what a name but if you have suggestions for a name please let me know the name suggestion for him so look how beautiful is it look at his skin tone i'm not showing my face because i don't have makeup on but you can see a corner of my face look at his skin tone it looks a lot like mine 
Except it's a little bit lighter, but he's got a beautiful light skin to it. So just wanted to show you my new addition to the nursery. And I am busy, busy sculpting, ladies. I'm getting really excited about sculpting. And I'm almost done my first head. And I did a video of him some months back. But you will not believe the transformation, how different he looks now. And that's the one thing that I really love about sculpting. Is that once you start sculpting, I mean, the face especially. I don't know how it is. I haven't done limbs yet. But the face, I mean, it will change within one little tweak you make to it. When you're sculpting, will change the face completely. So daily, his face has changed, and it's really exciting. And uh, there's something really cool about how much he's changed and the detail, a specific detail of how the baby has changed. So I'll be showing you him soon, his head. And um, I'm really excited about that. I'll be showing him soon and revealing him. So what I'll do is I will bake him. I probably won't show you to after I bake him. Um, and then I'll show you him on a, on a little cuddle body, but he'll be looking all cute. And I'm really excited about him. It's kind of one of my, I guess you would say, passions that I've been pursuing. And I'm excited about it for the new year to get into a lot more sculpting and pouring silicone also. So just want to introduce this guy, and i got to go because I don't want to make the videos too long. And he says, bye, aunties. He says, I see you soon, aunties. And think if, if you can think of a name, I would love a name. Um, oh, look, he's reaching out to everybody. Isn't that sweet? He said, I'm reaching, I'm reaching for my aunties. So if you could think of a name that he looks like for a boy, please let me know. I would love to hear y'all's suggestions. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back with another video and it's going to be of Mary because I promised that and I had a couple people asking. So I will be doing her video, my gorgeous Mary baby. And I'll be back in a couple days with that video. I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe and stay blessed. And let me know if you have any new plans for the new year. They don't have to be doll related. Just any plans you'd like to share. And I will be back with more babies. Stay safe and stay blessed.